doing a lot of coming to you for a weekday shave. This was supposed to be a weekend video. Unfortunately, I had a technical issue with my uh, app on my camera and I wasn't able to get this uploaded on the weekend for you. So for this shave today, we are going to use Bardigan and Stark Timberyard. Um, this is a sample that was sent to me by the artisan. Uh, they kindly reached out to me asking me if I would like to try the product. Give you a generous, generous sample. Uh, this will be my fourth or fifth shave on it now. Uh, Bardigan and Stark is out of Calgary, Alberta. And they were traditionally making beard oils and products like that. And they've got into shaving soaps. So we'll talk about that some more as we go. As you can see here, I do have this pressed into my Thirsty Badger lather bowl. I will be using the Coyote Cuts Mad Hatter and Lime with the 26 millimeter luxury maturing in knot. Uh, Pre-soaking in my Stormtrooper bowl. And for the razor today, when we get to it, we'll be using the gem, sorry, gem type, but it's a uh, EverReady English 1912. I have it loaded with a blade from here. They're not the stainless, I can't remember what these are. I think they're a carbon, I'm not sure guys. I forgot to look it up. It's my second time on this blade. They're not my favorite, but we'll see how it goes. And we'll get this going. So, Timber Yard, as you can probably expect or guess, is a woodsy scent. <laughs> Um, before I start lathering it, the scent um, is different, is how I'll put it. Um, as you start lathering it, it develops, and I think you get more of the woodsy notes starting coming out of it. Um, at the very beginning, it's a little sweeter. But that does die down, like I said, and it's bounced out more by the woods, woody notes, and the uh, like the green notes in the background of this. Speaking of the notes on this for you guys, I'll just let you know what they are real, right away here. So your primary notes are cedar, lemongrass, sandalwood, and patchouli. And they are rounded out, it says, by hints of grapefruit, rosemary, and clary sage. It's a nice scent. Uh, they say it's a medium scent profile. I'll agree with that. It's right around probably four and a half, five-ish. Um, not too powerful, but decent. You can see we're getting it going here. The one thing I will say about this soap, and they do mention it online at their website, which I will link to in my description below. Um, add water slowly, guys. This is my second time using a badger on this. Um, the other two or three shades before that were synthetics. And the synthetics, I found were a little easier with this, um, just because they didn't hold on to as much water in the knot as the Badger did when I first used this. So you just have to find, to get the best results out of this lather, you add water slowly. So, but if you do that, you can add quite a bit of water to it and you'll build a really nice lather. So because I'm gonna add water to this slowly, I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back and I'll bring it to my face. All right, I'm back. Didn't take too long to build this. Like I said, you just got to add it slowly. Or add the water slowly, sorry. And then I like to just put it on my face and I work it into my whiskers a bit. Build the lather a little bit more. Kind of a hybrid lather, right? A little bit of full lather and a little bit of face lathering. Scent's still very good. Definitely around that four and a half, I'd say, Mark. Even when you lather on your face, it remains around the same. It's um, it's woodsy, like I said, you get some like uh, the cedar and the sandalwood, but I think the lemongrass kind of gives a tad of sweetness behind it. And then I'm pretty sure it's the clary sage I'm also picking up. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. Add a little more water here. So I do have also 
Uh, 48 hours growth today, guys. I just didn't shave yesterday. I had a couple of rough shaves earlier in the week, last week, that I did not allow my skin to really heal up from. And also yesterday was just insane at work. It's one of those days where you just, you barely had time to go to the washroom, right? So. My phone started ringing at 7 a.m. And I was done at 6, so. It's a longer day yesterday, but it's a good day, that means things are productive. And busy, which has been way too quiet for too long with COVID. I'm pretty happy with this. It's a little thin. But. Oh, maybe not. We'll see. We'll give it a shot, guys. I'm definitely better at judging my lathers. I only have one day's growth. It's my normal. It's what I'm used to, right? When I have multiple days growth, sometimes I'm questioning if I have it right. But I think we're golden. All right. Sorry. <laughs> some paper that, fall, that fell down here on me. I was trying to make some notes for you guys. So let's go with the grain. So it is um, the start of SE September, and I believe it was uh, the Surf Facebook group, Single Edge Razor fans on Facebook. So I like my Single Edge Razors. I figured this year I would participate in that. That being said, I will consider my straights a single edge. There's only one edge, guys. Sorry about that, everyone. I had Do Not Disturb on on my phone, and uh, for some reason, it doesn't seem to be working. So I've turned the airplane mode on. Hopefully, it won't get, uh, we shouldn't get any interruptions. Excuse me. So, yeah, so. Single edge razors. That's going to be the month for me. If you haven't used a gem, very nice razors, very stiff blades. Um, and they just don't have, the, none of the single edge razor blades have the flex that a DE does. Um, maybe part of the reason why I do enjoy them, because they're closer to a straight razor that way. It's that blade's not my, not my favorite. Um, I think it may be a carbon blade or something. I'll put that up. I'll try to do the research, guys. But I'm just not 100% positive. Let's go past two here. Lava's looking pretty good. Feels really nice in the face. And like I said, I've used this a few times now, so I'm pretty familiar with it. And I really like it. It's a nice soap. Let's go across the green. So now my Two of my straights are out to get edges on them right now. Uh, 
Uh, he should be being shipped back on Wednesday. All goes well. Hope it'll happen to you for the weekend video. It is a long weekend up here coming up in Canada. So I will be for my final weekend probably at the cabin. At least for summer and fall. We normally have one more trip. That's a guy's golf tournament weekend, which is a blast. But I don't think it's going to happen with COVID and everything this year. And along with that, my uh, daughter has a specialist appointment in a different city that weekend, the Friday before. So I won't be around. I stop to miss it because I always enjoy it. But it's okay. So I'll try to get a weekend, a weekend video up for you guys, like I said. Um, but with it being a long weekend, I might not get it up to the week from today. That's doing really good. Um, the one thing to show you, I guess, I kind of rinsed it off. The residual on this is really good. Like even after rinsing, I can go back and go the other way. So the residual is very, very, very good. Good protection there with the soap base. And the initial slickness is X, or is good too. I'd say the residual is almost as good as the initial, if not the same. It's kind of crazy. So about the soap some more, it is an all natural soap. Uh, it is beef towel based. I'll put the ingredients all up for you because they're not on the sample and I forgot to write them down, guys. <laughs> Um, but as it's also being all natural, it's all essential oils. There's no fragrance oils or anything like that. And the one thing I did notice about the scent of the soap itself, it doesn't really seem to carry that long or linger that long after you're done shaving. So if you want to pair it with a slightly different scent or one of your favorite colognes, stuff like that, you shouldn't have a problem with that. Up against the grain. So I was also lucky enough, I don't know if you guys watch BBS Live with uh, Melly Mel and Nate Dog or Nate Nipples. But last week they had an impromptu uh, airing on, which seems to be happening a lot more regularly lately. Um, I want myself a PAA set from Doug Smythe, which was awesome. My choice. And I've been told it's been shipped by Doug already. So thank you very much, Doug. I will definitely feature that in a video for you guys. Um, based on the recommendation of Nate and Mel, I went with Alfin. I hadn't tried it yet. I hear it's a little flurry, but something different to add to my den. I'm really hoping I enjoy it. I also may have to get some bourbon for that video, just to pay homage to those gentlemen. But as you can see, no issues here. This is uh, <laughs> gliding very nicely over the skin. Everything's feeling good, it's cutting well. Um, if you're not familiar with the gems, by the way, you almost ride the cap completely. Put it on your face and just open it up just a little bit. It's 
Doing very well. Zero. Nothing wrong with this shave, guys. Clamp around the nose here. I do have about seven or eight gems now. I'm going to be selling some of them off. They're just not all getting the love they need. So, get them to a home where hopefully they can be used better or used more often. So, I also want to apologize to you guys about some of the extreme close ups I've been seeing about videos lately. Uh, I need to get a stand that's closer to my, my mirror. This one sticks out about five inches. Maybe six, so I have to remember to stand back from where I normally shave. So this feels really nice. Um, chin line, everything's pretty good. There's a little bit right down there, maybe there. The rest of it feels really, really nice. Oh, missed a spot right there. <laughs> there we go. Right on. That should be it. Perfect. So I'm going to go rinse. I'll clean up my equipment. And I'll be back for the post shave. All right, I'm back. So I did my rinses, pat dry, cleaned up my gear. It's been a few minutes. Um, like I said, the post shave on this actually is pretty good. Um, this is my fourth or fifth shave with it. Um, I've left it a few minutes before too, this time. It doesn't make my skin feel dry or anything like that. Uh, maybe a little tighter than normal, but not bad at all. You could probably skip a post shave. It's a pretty darn good post shave experience. So I don't have a matching post shave product for this. So we're gonna start this off with a little bit of Barbado. And as always with alcohol products, I just give it a couple seconds. Like really no sting at all guys. It's a great, great shave. Did get myself a little bit right there on that cleanup. I should have left it. You know better, right? But you still do it, so. All right, and then we're gonna finish this off. Excuse me, everyone. A little older product, Stonefield Shave Coat. Oh, excuse me, north of 50. Now this is the original release. Uh, the scent is slightly different on this than what is available now. Um, it pairs fairly well with actually the timber yard. Um, it's a little sweeter than Timber Yard is. Um, I think, but it's also got that clary sage in it, which makes them pair really nicely. I, I, I quite enjoy both of them. It's a cool day today, so I thought they'd be a good fit together too. So right on. Oh, a very nice shave that I enjoyed today, guys. So just for a um, quick recap for everyone, today I used a sample that was kindly um, supplied to me by the artisan. It is uh, Bardigan, Bardigan, I say that wrong? Yeah. Bardigan and Stark, sorry, <laughs> Timber Yard. Um, good soap, you know, I think I believe this is their first release, towel based, all natural, performs very well. Um, Poche is excellent. Zero issues with this. Um, it's kind of cool too. You can get it in a metal tub or a plastic tub. Your choice. Depends what it is in the inventory. You can buy it directly at Bardigan and Stark or at Stonefield Shave Co. I'll link them both below. And if I find any other places that it is available, I'll make sure I link them too. 
I did whip all that lather up today with my Coyote Cuts. Mad Hatter and Lime, pre-coin. First time he ever used his not tent, sold this one out to anyone, which is great. I love having first stuff. Along with my, uh, one of my Thirsty Badger lather bowls. As always, I use the Stormtrooper mug for soaking the brush and for water. Add to my uh, lather. You saw me use Barbado and Stonefield Shave Co's North of 50 Bomb. And the bullet razor for today was the Ever Ready Gem Style, made in England, 1912. Beautiful razor. I really, really enjoy this. Uh, it's probably my, like I said, probably my favorite gem type that I have. And then these style of gem blades, they're not the stainless ones that I always see. I think they may be carbon. I'm not sure. Um, I'll make the notes down below for you guys to or put them up here. So overall, great shave. Really up for a great day. So I hope you all. Have a wonderful day yourselves. I'm really psyched for my day today. Uh, it's just, I think it's gonna be excellent. So thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for spending time for me with me and your time giving it to me for my videos. Thank you for being subscribers. Thank you for commenting below. Commenting below. <laughs> the brain's going faster in my mouth, guys. And I just wanna say uh, happy shaving to all of you. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you for the next video.